the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So today we're going to have the first of a series of pieces with fellow YouTube broadcaster Chuck Bronson, like Charles Branson, Missouri, but Chuck Bronson. It's about as tough a name as you're going to come up with. I've got four topics. I'm going to do one today, and I'm going to do three more at future episodes, depending on how much time I have. Programming reminder, tomorrow, KSCU.org, 9 to midnight Pacific, and Thursday, special 100th episode, St. Patrick's Day, 4 to 7 p.m. Pacific, KSCU.org, filling in for Naked Rob, but not playing the type of music he plays, because I just don't have enough. So, today the question is, do you feel that if the illegal immigration problem continues in California that voters, or yourself, would support repeal of some drug laws, preferably softer drugs like marijuana, as it would most likely stamp out the potential for Mexican or other countries' cartels smuggling into the country, as some would say? Well, part of the reason why drugs are smuggled into California in the first place is because we have increased security at the ports. There's always been issues with drug cartels in Mexico, but in the last, I would say, five years or so, it's gotten a lot worse because it's much easier to bring drugs into the country that way than through the ports now. So when you have a lump under a mattress and you flatten it out, it just goes somewhere else. And that's what happened there. Proposition 19 in November um, supported the decriminalization of marijuana so it could be taxed and so on. And it was very hard for me to decide which way to vote on it. And it, I decided at the last minute to vote no. And I can't even remember the specific reasoning behind it because I'm really on the fence about it. And i got to go one way or the other. Some, some, some things I just don't have an opinion on. You know, gay marriage is one. I just don't care. And legalization of marijuana, I just, I don't know. I don't have a good reason for it to be illegal. I don't have a good reason for it to be legal. So I have enough opinions about other things that I'm not going to go off and spend a lot of time thinking about that. I think that it is more cost effective for drugs to be legal. The fascist in me does not want to let people do things that are going to cause harm to themselves. It's not that I know what's good for people, it's that science knows what's good for people, and I believe in science. It's not I think cigarettes should be outlawed before I think marijuana should be outlawed, but I don't know that that's a reason to make marijuana legal since cigarettes are. Honestly, if there was a one-to-one -one exchange and suddenly you couldn't smoke cigarettes anymore but marijuana was legal, I'd be okay with that because it's like a trade-off, right? So, let's see. I don't think that the drug laws and illegal immigration have anything in common. I don't know that that would be the reason why we would repeal or approve, uh, uh, repeal the uh, criminalization, the, the laws that, are, that make uh, certain drug use and possession a crime. Um, illegal immigration is an entirely separate issue. Um, I don't generally say that it's the business's fault for hiring illegal immigrants because, yes, of course, if that demand weren't there, then illegal immigrants wouldn't show up for those jobs, fine. But hiring managers just don't know. I mean, I was absolutely thrilled that the that the uh, nanny gate issue with Meg Whitman happened because then it made it so it was easier for her to lose to Jerry Brown in the, in the election. Fine, but she wasn't going to win anyway. It was overkill on Jerry Brown's part to surface that. But you know, why sweat something out when you can win by 13 points? I get that. But when you're hiring someone and they give you legal documented papers, that's all you can do. Why are you going to waste time researching whether someone has legitimate paperwork? They have paperwork that looks legitimate. That's your job is to make sure that you've done that. And there's no money in it for you to find out that someone's not legal. They made that effort. As a businessman, the purpose of a business is to make money. you got to let it go at that. However, the, I still don't necessarily say that that's a reason to try to eliminate illegal immigration as it stands today because we do all benefit. First of all, they contribute to a benefit system that they don't get to cash out on because if they do 
Most illegal immigrants use fake papers to get their jobs, which means when the taxes are taken out and when the Social Security is taken out, they're never going to see that again. Those who get paid under the table, sure. Loud minority, vocal minority, that's generally not the case. And uh, let's see. And not to mention, these lower wages, it makes things cheaper for everyone else. Why do you think produce prices in the Bay Area have not gone up much in the last 30 years? What do you think? It's not because the minimum wage has stayed the same, because it hasn't. It's eight something now, or eight, or I don't know what it is anymore. But it was 425 when I was in college 15 years ago. It's doubled. It's almost doubled. It's more than doubled in some cities in California. Yet, <laughs> produce prices have not doubled. I can still buy asparagus for $2 a pound. I can still buy oranges for 40 cents a pound. What's going on? Well, <laughs> what do you think? So, I don't necessarily see it as a bad idea. I don't want a $10 head of lettuce. And I don't think that these prices have been kept artificially low by the farm bill either. I think that that money kind of goes off somewhere else for farmers to sit on. So there you go. This is what happens when I don't take notes and I try to answer a question. That's all the time we have today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.